In 1970, the Lacrosse Fairground Speedway was in its first year as a paved track facility. The promoters of the day were looking for a special event to put an exclamation point on the end of that inaugural paved track season. They came up with Oktoberfest. Since then, it's been a virtual who's who of Midwestern short track racing that have visited Oktoberfest Victory Lane. Dick Trickle, Butch Miller, Joe Shear, Matt Kenseth, Rich Bickle, all those drivers went to Victory Lane here at Oktoberfest. Today, in its 44th season, Oktoberfest truly is one of the premier short track facilities and short track events, I should say, in America. Well, it's a great track. It's a fun track. It's a fast track. Uh, there's not a lot of grip in the corners, and I like that in a racetrack. You know, a lot of times you'll, you'll, you'll hear drivers complain and say, man, there's just no grip in this track. Yeah, but you know, it puts the car sideways, and you're not driving until the car goes sideways, and that's when you find out who can drive and who can't. So no complaints there. So if you can't have fun here, then you can't have fun anywhere. This is just a, uh, a barrel of fun for everybody. When you go out and you look, you just see campers. It's just like an ocean of campers out there. So the atmosphere is, is a lot of fun. Stephen Cox picking up the win at Lacrosse Fairground Speedway as part of the Oktoberfest race weekend. You know, we got a win. The very first time I ever saw this racetrack was when we drove on for practice today. We came out here with seven laps of practice, that includes qualifying, and put it in victory lane. So what was the key to the win? The key to the win was Chris Gagne, uh, the Knowles, and uh, the Tackmans and the Willinghams working like crazy to prep this car before we ever came out here because I couldn't get here earlier in the week to practice it. So thanks to all those guys, thanks to Bochette timepieces and McGonagall engines, guys, we finally got you a win. Been a long time coming.